said good morning to all my viewers welcome back to another upload so right now quick and fast like the video share the content leave a thoughts in your comments down below mother of slain child placed in police protective custody the st james police have placed the mother of a nine-year-old child who was taken out after a reported robbery incident in the parish on thursday morning in protective custody the artistic child's body was found on the back seat of the mother's car which is you know the one they got already the police reported that the car was found off a roadway in fairfield in st james the attackers allegedly stole the vehicle and drove it from the scene the mother reported the matter to the police who launched a search for the vehicle with the child this incident is still sketchy because this is not a carjacking. Carjacking and normally take the car or scrap the car. Carjacking you don't take the car plus a child, then take out a child. That's not a carjacking, my viewers. That's a hit. That's not carjacking. That's a hit. Right straight and straight forward. But leave your comments down below in the comment section. Suspected thieves taking out a rel relative of Dijon Campbell, who is one of the two men who were taken out Tuesday night in Nine Miles Bull Bay, said for months she had warned him not to steal material from a construction site at which they work. Me hear him with the argument in him both September October where him had said, Enough I up on the site and how much the steel them left open. Me turn to him and say, you only over there for work. Don't let anybody lead you astray, the relative said. The two bodies of Campbell, 25, and Camille Forbes, 42, were found about 8.30 Wednesday morning with several corn wounds. The site is being operated by the China Arbor Engineering Company. The police, according to Senior Superintendent Tamily Chambers, head of the Kingston East Police Division, discovered 16 lengths of steel along the ground close to the deceased. Our investigation is ongoing, but from what I have heard is that both men work on the site for some time and they were attempting to move the steel about two or three hours after the site would have been closed for business, she said. Campbell's relative said that she was disappointed with him. He never need to do that, stealing because he never have any child or any serious responsibilities like that. He could have worked and saved up him money because of that, me always I tell him. I talked to him, the relative said. A relative of Forbes said he was a quiet man who usually went to bed early. He don't in need of anything. 
have him brother a England who always a send him money plus him collect rent from tenant because a fee him house. Him not have any picnic. So all of this is surprising to me. She said the weekend news could not get a comment from one of the managers at the construction site. Two taking out by drive-by shooting. Jacqueline is now left to raise three children on her own after her husband Marlon Mandori was taken out during a drive-by in Bedrock, St. Andrew. According to the police, he was not intended target. The father one year old landscaper was riding his bicycle to work when he was hit in the chest by a stray bullet. He collapsed and was rushed over by a motor car as the shooters escaped. Jacqueline said that her husband of 15 years was hardworking and did not deserve such a horrible tragedy. She said the Manduri always kept to himself was never involved in any wrongdoing. He is a good man and a one thing me know for sure him no trouble people. When me ear say him get the can, me say to myself, I must wrong place him did that cause him a coward. She said, Jacqueline shared that she was at work when she got the news. A relative texted me this morning yesterday and asked if me Watch what I go on the news. Me text her back and say, A long time me not watch the news. Cause me tired of it. Me never know a me husband. Death me would have talked about hours after she said. Seen a superintendent Kirk Ricketts who heard the St. Andrew. South Police Division told the news that the cops believe Wayne Smith, 45, who was also taken out, was the target. It is very, very preliminary but there seems to be a gang flick in which certain members of his family is involved and as such he may have been the target of that number of the family who they can't find he was taken out and injured last year he was injured last year in an attempt to take him out because of the same situation however we don't have any information on him being directly involved in any gang conflict, Ricketts said. According to Ricketts, 49 of the more than 70 gangs in the division are active. Some viewers, we have a breaking news, but I don't even know how to give you the news. Because news like these are so tragic, we don't even know how to turn it and how to give you it. But, continue to like, share, and subscribe. We get some news and some information that a pregnant mother and her little one was taken out. But in this circumstances, it wasn't by hoodlums. She eventually took her little one three points and also took hers. Some of you as I'm sub with one on the video on the north link down in the description. The link will be provided straight to the video. So we cannot post videos like those on YouTube. We cannot even talk about it on YouTube due to YouTube's partner program and policies. But if you want the video, a link is down in the description on how to get the video. So just comment and you can we can send you straight over to where the video is so continue to like share and subscribe bless up